hi guys i'm back with another video today we're going to be doing a four and a half year handbag review but before i get into that i want to thank everybody who's watched my videos who's liked commented and subscribed if you're new here welcome and please be sure to subscribe and let's get into this review so today we're going to be talking about the reversible Liz Vecito Shopper from MCM. Um, I bought this bag back in November of 2016, so it's about four and a half years old. So I have gotten a lot of wear um, in this bag. So I'm going to talk to you guys about one, just my experience with the bag, um, the overall wear and tear, because I do have some because I've used this bag quite a bit, um, and just my overall thoughts on the brand um and you know let's just get into it okay. all right so first i do want to say that i think that mcm is very underrated um mcm is not for everything and it's definitely not for everybody um they have more of a casual and eclectic aesthetic um, that just doesn't work for everybody and it may not work or it definitely won't work for um, every occasion. They do casual and basically only casual, um, but for what they do, I think they make very quality items for reasonable prices within, you know, considering luxury. Um, and I think it's a brand that's slept on by a lot of people. Um, so I definitely think that before you make a purchase from a different fashion house, that's going to cost you considerably more that you consider MCM, especially when it comes to this particular, uh, tote, because it's been around for a while. Um, they're going to continue to make it and it's not something that you have to, um, worry about going out of style. And a lot of times that's the a part of the appeal of spending more on a bag is that it's something that you can keep for a while um, and it's not going to go out, out of style and this is definitely one of those items so this is um you know a basic tote obviously i have this coat in the color cognac which is you know the more iconic traditional um color this bag is comparable to the louis vuitton um never full um except for the price is considerably different this bag when i bought it was 590 now it is 650 um and the never full is like 1400 dollars now so you could still buy two of these bags um and still have money left over um and the quality for the most part um is comparable it, it's pretty much the same and in a lot of ways you get more out of this bag than you will with the neverfull and i have both and i like both um but you you really do get more out of this bag um mainly because of the difference in the uh, pouch um so the bag as the name states is reversible i have never reversed this bag but i will reverse it and put a clip in for you guys and reverse it for you guys um but it just comes with like this pattern inside and you can kind of like get the ideal um so it is two in one it's really kind of like three in one um, and I'll show you guys the pouch to explain that too, but um, you can basically flip it in side out and wear it this way. I've never worn it that way just because um, I don't really like it the other way. That's just not my particular aesthetic. Um, the bag comes with um, where you have the ability to cinch the sides in just like you would um and a lot of other totes um so it's pretty much a basic tote um this is the back of it it has like leather they're not feet but they're straps on there at the bottom um the bag is the straps this part of the bag and the straps and the lining around it are made out of leather the rest of the bag is made out of their coated um, canvas which is pretty adorable 
it's a little different from um, Louis Vuitton's canvas, um, but I like it uh, because it has like these, uh, it comes kind of like textured. You don't really have to worry about like it wrinkling or like showing wear so much over time. Um, so I do like that part or you know that look of the bag um so as far as the wear and tear that i have on this bag i have quite a bit amount of wear on the handles and that's because obviously that's the part that you touch touch the most i don't know i wouldn't say that everybody that wears this bag will have this problem i tend to put a lot of lotion on my hands so that's part of it and i also didn't baby this bag i've worn this bag as an everyday bag um quite a few times or a considerable amount of time over these four and a half years so it just has a lot of wear so if, like if you see you can't really notice it too much when i hold it like that but if i were to put this down you can see how the handles are darker um and it's been clean too it's just worn um i think some of the paint has probably worn down and yeah it's just worn um and you can get the straps replace i believe um and pay for them to repair but for me it's it's just really not worth it bags wear um the only other issue that i have is like here's the corners um there's some wear that i have on the corners this corner there's a piece of the canvas that is kind of like chipped off which i'm pretty sure i snagged it against something so that was my fault um but other than the straps and that one little piece which really i mean it's not noticeable unless you point it out i don't have a lot of wear on the bag um, for the amount of time that i use the bag so i'm pretty satisfied um, with the quality of the bag um, i definitely feel like i got my cost per wear um, the hardware is still in pretty good condition like there's no tarnishing or anything like that especially like the plate in the front there's some scratches on it um but for the most part um there's no real issues the bag comes in this dust bag um MCM bags don't come in boxes they're like wallets or wallets in, on chain do but I've never ordered one. I don't know if in store you get one, but you don't get a box with it. Um, the other really cool thing, which I think sets this bag apart from the Neverfull is that it comes with a pouch. The Neverfull comes with a pouch, but this one is far more uh, substantial because it comes with a strap that you can use as a shoulder strap if you want it to, um, or you can unhook this part and um, hook it right here and use it as a wristlet or you know just hold it as a clutch. This pouch compared to the Neverfull is just a lot more substantial. It's taller, it's I'm pretty sure it's a little wider. Um, it's also just thicker um, and you know really can be its own bag by itself. Um, so considering that this bag is only $650, um, it's just a much better deal. Um, I know that the there are some differences. I'll link the video in my uh, description bar um, or description box at the bottom of this video um, because the newer versions of the bag don't have like metal hardware. There's just like a leather tab and the pouch I believe is the same size, but it doesn't have like, this has like some sort of like padding or something inside of it. Um, so it's just like a little, it's thicker. And I believe the new version, the um, it's not the actual canvas, but the pouch itself is just like a little thinner and it's not as thick. It might be a little bit more, I don't want to say it's flimsy, 
but it's not the same. But the person that I saw who did the video, who um, talked about, compared the old version to the new version, um, you'll be able to see more of what I'm talking about. So I'll list that in there if you're considering purchasing the bag, even with the difference um, in the pouch, it's really not that much different. Um, it, the pouch itself is still better than the Neverfull uh, bag and it's just a better value. Another reason why it's a better value is because MCM bags go on sale. Um, so I paid $4.72 for this bag um, because normally around Black Friday, November, early December, something around that time, MCM will have a sale. Um, they always have a sale, like I think twice a year, you know, like when seasons change, definitely around Christmas time or after Thanksgiving, they always have a sale. Um, so you can um, definitely snag a lot of uh, items discounted. Um, Nordstrom's and department stores always have sales too and so you're able to get sales that way um i've gotten some mcm bags from nordstrom rack um so i've never actually paid full price for mcm bags so considering that the price is, is generally lower than some other brands and you can actually get them on sale um it makes it even better so for 472 dollars um, this definitely was um, one of my best luxury purchases. It's definitely one of my most used um, bags and that's why it has um, the amount of wear that it does. Um, I'm trying to think of... Another thing too is there's no fachetta leather compared to Louis Vuitton. So, you know, that just makes it, um, you know easier to take care of um so i'm trying to think of like cons about this bag and there really are none um i don't really have any complaints about this bag um you know it's just really a great bag it's one of my most used bags i def definitely think i got my cost per wear out of this bag especially you know for the price of 472 um I think the only kind or the only thing that may not make this bag for everybody is the monogram. Um, so it's just, it, you know, it's kind of loud. It's not, the, you know, it's, I don't know. I think all monogram is loud. So you could really say that about Louis Vuitton or Dior or any other um, monogram. But I think what makes this one a little different is that it's black on top of the cognac color. Um, so it just makes it stand out um, a little differently. Um, so if you're kind of turned off by that or you're not the biggest fan of Monogram, um, I would suggest getting the black version um, because the bag itself is black and then the Monogram is like in a gray. Um, so it makes it a little bit, uh, more muted than this particular version of it. Um, but other than that, it is a great bag. I definitely would purchase this bag again. I have had intentions of buying the, uh, black one and I just have never, um, got around to doing it, but I do have several MCM bags. So maybe at some point I will do a review um, of my collection or show you guys my collection. So I'm gonna flip the bag inside out and show you guys what that looks like. So this is the bag inside out, not particularly my style, but if it is yours, this is another option um, with the bag, which, you know, it's, it can't hurt you, you know. So that is really all I have to say um, about the bag. Um, it's a tote, you know, so it's really not that much to say about it. Um, but I do think it's a great buy and I definitely recommend this bag um, for anybody who's considering it or just looking for a basic tote that you can, um, you know, 
stuff everything in it. It can fit a laptop. Um, there is, this is the medium size. I don't think I said that. There is a large version of the bag. The large is just too large for me. Um, but I don't hate it either. Um, so anyway, let me know your thoughts on this bag. If you have the bag, let me know how yours has worn. Don't be like me, take better care of your bag and the straps. And I'm sure that after four years that you won't have the um, same problems that I've had. Um, but if you do throw your bag around and um, basically use it, it will still be in fairly good condition after four and a half years and um, I recommend it so anyway thanks for watching um, if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next one bye